family. Movies brief here. Today, I am going to explain a Chinese action film called Iron Protector. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. A martial arts expert named Wu Lin is the successor of an ancient Chinese clan, the Iron Feet. He has come to a big city for the first time in years. Suddenly, a group of gangsters in pursuit bumps into a kid and drops his ice cream. To help him, Wu Lin goes looking for the men and meets them in an alleyway. They have found the person they were chasing and are about to kill him. With the excuse of getting the ice cream money back, Wu Lin stalls them for a while. But when they start getting aggressive, he doesn't hold back. He takes on a dozen gangsters on his own, showcasing great kung fu skills. By the end of the fight, he is the only one standing. The man whose life he saved is a wealthy businessman named Jia Shan. He offers him money, but Wu Lin refuses to accept it. He then goes back to the child and gives him another cone of ice cream. Suddenly, many cars surround him from all sides. The leader of the opposite group comes out and hugs Wu Lin, revealing that the two are good friends. He is a kung fu master and the owner of a security firm, Jiang Li. Wu Lin and Jiang Li used to be disciples of the same master. They grew up and trained together before Jiang Li moved to the city to better his life. He has earned a lot of money and fame over the years, but has forgotten his master's principles along the way. As they talk, we find out that Jiang Li didn't leave the village on his own. He made a huge mistake during a practice and was kicked out by his master. The master believed he was not worthy of being taught a sacred art like Kung Fu. Back in the present, Wu Lin brings out the master's ashes, revealing that he passed away. Jiang Li breaks down crying, still filled with love for his mentor. The next day, they go to Jiang Li's training center. While going through the security checkup, Wu Lin is asked to remove his shoes because they are made of metal. Jiang Li knows the history behind them, so he allows him to come in without taking them off. The businessman Jia Shan has come to Jiang Li to hire a bodyguard for his daughter. Jiang Li shows him the strength of his men, but Jia Shan shows interest in hiring Wu Lin. Wu Lin agrees to do it, since one of the master's teachings said the protector will do anything in his power to protect the employer. The next morning, Wu Lin meets Jia Shan's spoiled daughter, Fei Fei. The first meeting doesn't go as expected as a startled Fei Fei drops her towel, assuming he is an intruder. After finding out he is her new bodyguard, she offers him money to leave her alone. However, Wu Lin is true to his principles, so a little amount of money won't change his decision. As a last resort, Fei Fei threatens him with a fake gun, but Wu Lin doesn't react at all. Later that day, the two drive to the mall. Fei Fei reluctantly walks around while he follows her everywhere. Then she notices a group of perverts bothering a girl. She confidently walks to the leader of the group, pulls a Will Smith, and slaps him in the face. When the man is agitated, she lies that Wu Lin asked her to do so. The thugs are about to beat up Wu Lin when he claims that he doesn't know who Fei Fei even is. The plan bites her back when they believe him and start chasing her to teach her a lesson. Wu Lin watches in amusement as they make her run around the mall. But at last, he decides to help her and makes the thugs apologize. At night, Wu Lin dreams of his father throwing him off of a cliff. It turns out he has had the same experience in real life as well. When he was only seven years old, his corrupt businessman father tried to kill him. The reason is still unknown to Wu Lin, but he remembers his father said, success requires sacrifice before throwing him off of a cliff. Then, we are introduced to a gangster named Mr. Fu. He used to be Jia Shan's employer, but is now actively trying to kill him. Jia Shan has information about every criminal activity Fu has ever been a part of. Hence, the gangster wants him dead as soon as possible. A trusted fortune teller claims that Fu's end is near. Although the man has been working for Fu for several decades, he shoots him dead because of the outrageous assumption. The next day, Wu Lin and Fei Fei go to a fancy restaurant. Fei Fei enjoys the meal while Wu Lin stands by her and keeps watch on everyone. Suddenly, he holds a waitress down, claiming that she is trying to harm Fei Fei. An angered Fei Fei rushes to the bathroom, but Wu Lin barges in and forcefully brings her outside. 
On their way back home, they get into an altercation again. A bunch of men come to Fei Fei's aid, assuming that Wu Lin is harassing her. She takes the opportunity to run away, but is then abducted by the waitress and waiter from earlier. Wu Lin's intuition is proven correct, but he has no time to celebrate. He quickly follows the car and gets on top of it after jumping off of an overpass. However, he soon loses his grip and falls down. The second time, he doesn't bother jumping on it, but faces it head on. After stopping it and fighting the masked kidnapper, he manages to run away with Fei Fei. When they reach home, Fei Fei asks him how he knew the waiter and waitress were one of the abductors. Wu Lin replies that he has trained himself to learn body language. A person can lie, but their movement shows how nervous, excited, or angry they are. Fei Fei also reveals that she has had several bodyguards growing up. She never had privacy and the freedom to do things as she liked. Hence, she started to hate all the bodyguards in general. In the end, she adds that Wu Lin is not as bad as the other ones. Before going to bed, Fei Fei looks at her family photo and cries over her late mother's memory. Somewhere else, the gangster Fu sends his right-hand man to Jiang Li. The man wants Jiang Li to help them kill Jia Shan. Although Jiang Li is skeptical, he agrees to help them. It turns out that when he first came to the city, Mr. Fu gave him a meal and helped him start the business. In turn, the gangster uses the trained bodyguards for his own good, but Jiang Li feels too indebted to retaliate. The next day, Jiang Li and Wu Lin meet at a construction site. Jiang Li boasts about his knowledge of the real world that Wu Lin has no idea about. He thinks he is better than Wu Lin because he has connections, with whom he maintains good relationships. On being asked to stop protecting Fei Fei, Wu Lin refuses. For the first time in their lives, the brothers stand against each other. Jiang Li reveals that he is still bitter, that Wu Lin got the special boots and not him. Master always favored Wu Lin and thought he was a born fighter. Now that they have a chance, he wants to test who out of them is better. They get into a fist fight, but no one overpowers the other since they match in strength. A magic fist technique has always been Jiang Li's specialty. Using it, he punches Wu Lin on his chest and slams him to the wall. In the end, Jiang Li declares they are no longer brothers and walks away. Following the encounter, Wu Lin takes Fei Fei to a secluded house by a beach. They spend their days practicing Kung Fu together. Wu Lin reveals that the boots he wears are 25 kilos each. He has been wearing them for the past 8 years in an attempt to master a technique called the 108 Kicks. When he takes the boots off, he will be stronger than ever. Wu Lin has been watching Dragon Ball Z. Then, one day, Jiang Li's people find out Wu Lin and Fei Fei's location, but Jiang Li knows that his trainees are not even close to Wu Lin's expertise. He gives them large handcuffs to use in their favor during the fight. They attack at night when Wu Lin is least expecting it. The couple runs into the woods, where Wu Lin is busy fighting the intruders. Taking the opportunity, two of the gangsters kidnap Fei Fei and bring her to a warehouse. Wu Lin follows them but accidentally sets foot in a trap. With a handcuff tied to his already heavy leg, he has a hard time fighting them. Still, he knocks out several men and gives them a difficult competition. In the end, they trap both of his legs and slam him into a wall. When he is weak, a man drags him to a field nearby. Jiang Li sees his former brother on the verge of death and feels a hint of pain, but he suppresses it with anger. He approaches Wu Lin and kills him with a final punch to his chest. They bury him in a pit before returning to their base. The rain keeps pouring heavily, turning the pit into a puddle. Suddenly, Wu Lin crawls out of it, revealing that he is still alive. He was born with a heart on the right side of his chest, so the punch didn't do him much harm. With renewed motivation, Wu Lin returns home and takes off the metal boots. It causes him to master the 108 kicks technique. Then, he changes his appearance and wears a suit before going to Jiang Li's training center. Hundreds of his trainees who are guarding the place attack him, but now, with 50 kilograms of weight off of his feet, Wu Lin is undefeatable. He only uses his hands for defense and knocks several of them out with his amazing footwork. In the end, he is the only one standing in the ring. Following the encounter, he confidently enters a room with Mr. Fu, Jiang Li, Fei Fei, and Jia Shan. Fu asks him if he is not afraid to die, to which Wu Lin replies that success requires sacrifice. Fu is shocked because he had said the same thing to his son before killing him. Several years ago, 
Fu and Jia Shan worked together as partners, but one time, Fu made Jia Shan get caught by the police, which in turn caused the death of his wife. Ever since then, Jia Shan has been looking to take revenge on Fu. Fu loved his son Wu Lin dearly, until one day, he witnessed Wu Lin chasing an animal away just by staring at it. Fu's trusted fortune teller told him that his son would be the end of him and his career. That was the reason why he tried to kill Wu Lin, even though he was just a kid. Fu laughs at his fate, thinking that the fortune teller was right all along. He fires at Wu Lin, but this time, Jiang Li stops him. He is tired of being a pawn in Fu's illegal activities. He claims that he wants to fight Wu Lin and give him a chance to showcase the power of the 108 kicks. They get into yet another battle where Jiang Li has an upper hand because of the strength magnifying gloves he is wearing. As the fight proceeds, Wu Lin slowly starts to overpower him, but when Jiang Li is about to be defeated, Fu shoots him dead. With his final breath, he asks Wu Lin to live on and maintain the legacy of the Iron Feet Clan. Now, only Wu Lin and Fu are the ones left alive. Seeing his death right in front of him, Fu tries to make amends with Wu Lin, but his attempt fails. Wu Lin launches at him, ready to end his life, but decides otherwise. He has always fought fairly, and killing the opponent is against the master's rule. He doesn't want to swoop down to Fu's level, so he lets him be with his ruined business. In the last scene, we see Wu Lin spreading Jiang Li's ashes in the air. The moral of the story today is that fortune tellers are full of shit. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.